Now let's get to named constructors. So this is my default constructor. So this one we call your default constructor. Now let's look at some named constructors. So let's say that we want to have a constructor that will set the balance to zero whenever we create or we get a new client. So I will go and say bank account and I'm going to put the dot there and say new client. And now you'll see it's going to give you a problem there because it says non-nullable instance field balance must be initialized. So let's, let's initialize it exactly the same as we did this bank account by adding the colon there and then initializing the value. So I'm going to say balance should be zero. So if it's a new client, we want to set the balance to zero. But we can also say if it's a new VIP client, so let's say VIP, then we want to set the balance to something else. Okay, so let's say 10 there. Or we could also accept as a parameter list a double amount that the guy will start with. So let's say start amount. And then I will go into the balance and say use that start amount and multiply it by 1.1. So we are giving him 10% extra into his account because he's a VIP. Or let's say 1.2, an extra 20%. All right, let's save this and go back to main and see how this works. So instead of saying var account equals this bank account where I indicate a thousand, I can go and say bank account and you can see there's new client and VIP. So let's start with new client and just end it off. So having a new client, the balance will be zero. If we deposit 4,000, the balance will be 4,000. So the first print statement should print out 4,000. And then we try to withdraw, won't happen, and it will print out 4,000 again. Let's see if this works. All right, 100%. Now let's try the other named constructor. Put the dot there, new VIP. Let's say the start amount for this VIP should be 10,000. Now what will happen? It will take 10,000, work out 20% and add 20% to it. So let's print out the balance first and then deposit 4,000 and try and do the rest. So let's save it quickly. Right, so 10% of 10,000 is 1,000. So 20% should be 2,000. So you can see it's 10,000 plus 2,000 gives me 12,000 as the initial balance because it's VIP. Deposit 4,000 will give me 16,000. Withdraw 6,000 will give me 10,000. All right, so this is how you use named constructors in Dart. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you in the next one.